Hi again everybody, it's Jason from Rangeland RV and I'm really excited today to show you one of our uh, premier fifth wheel brands here at Rangeland RV. This is the Arctic Wolf by Cherokee and this floor plan is a 255 DRL, RL for rear living. So we'll talk a little bit about construction today, we'll talk about some features and benefits and uh, some weights and measures as well. So starting with that, um, what's great about the Arctic Wolves and the category that they uh, are really successful in are half ton towable fifth wheels. This is an eight foot wide trailer. This uh, measures just over 30 feet overall length, weighs 7,900 pounds dry weight. And what is really important is it only has a hitch weight of uh, just under 1,300 pounds. That really is compatible to many um, half ton trucks. And, uh, and a lot of half ton trucks now will far exceed that. So really easy. Another thing that they've done and some standard equipment on our our Arctic Wolves are, we see here, the Reese Revolution Kingpin. You'll see this either in the Reese Revolution or in another product called the Turning Point, but they both do the same thing. And essentially what happens is we set this um, hitch up to pivot. And so what it does is essentially keeps your front cap away from your back window as you're doing sharp turns. And um, so you can use this trailer on a short box truck without any kind of sliding hitch and it saves you money in buying that hitch and it saves you the, all the effort that goes into having to release a hitch to roll it back to move it into a position where you might get stuck in an area that you that you can't jackknife your trailer without um, colliding with the back window of your tow vehicle. So that's uh, a really important feature. Another feature standard on all the Arctic Wolves is the four point auto level system. This is a one touch system, press a button, four jacks come down and level that trailer on all four corners makes it very stable because they have the elephant foot pad so a lot more contact with the ground won't sink into the ground as much you don't need blocks of wood underneath the trailer and also if you're on softer ground and happen to sink and shift a bit it will correct itself and just wake back up re-level the trailer there's also a setting on here that you can set up so when it's time to leave the campsite that uh, height that you had the trailer set at that was just perfect to lock into your fifth wheel hitch. You press a button, it readjusts itself to that height, you back straight in and you're hitting the road. Really easy, effortless hooking up of this fifth wheel. Um, another standard feature, we're gonna talk about this. This is in the Cherokee division of Four River Trailers. This is the number one selling fifth wheel. Um, but more importantly, this is the best insulated uh, Cherokee branded uh, product as well. So fully laminated trailers, so they laminate your walls, they laminate your slides and your rear wall. Um, so you're going to R9 insulation value in your side walls, so really good insulation value. All of your gate valves are enclosed in the heated underbelly. This particular trailer has a 35,000 BTU forced air furnace, but they also, instead of just running heat into the coach itself, there is a two inch duct that runs off the furnace down into the tank enclosure, which is sealed. So it circulates warm air into that enclosure so you can extend your camping seasons, start earlier uh, and end later. All right, the weather's turned beautiful here in Alberta again, and I think we can count for quite some time into the late fall, maybe even the early winter if you're in something like the Arctic Wolf. Another thing that uh, is an advantage when you're looking at keeping hot air in a coach and uh, sealing it as much as possible is this system called the Accuterm 8 cable slide system. So what you're seeing here are um, cables on the slide out. There's four cables that pull the slide back in and then there's four that pull it back out as well. Um, what's really it, um, interesting about that is if you look at a rack and pinion slide, first of all, the supports and the geared ram arms run underneath the slide out and into holes that have been cut in a frame, which can weaken a frame, but more importantly, when you're trying to seal it against cold air, it's an area that you get lots of cold air into. So we're sealing an underbelly, but we're cutting big holes in a trailer, counterintuitive. Eight cable pull slide system also keeps it's like a picture frame and so as that slide's pulling in there's the slide is is fit square um on all of its path of travel so this seal stays sealed throughout its path of travel so if your slide wasn't completely out and you're not making that full contact you still have a really great seal around that slide a real advantage to the cable pull slide system not to mention that 
This system is going to take about, on average, it will reduce the weight of the slide out by about 250 pounds per slide out. So on a coach like this, we've shaved 500 pounds off this coach. We'll walk around and show you a couple other features. Actually, we'll go right here. Um, like I said, 35,000 BTU first. This is all set up for cable and satellite. Has your black tank flush. The black tank flush is a direct line that runs into your septic tank. Um, there's sprayers built on the inside of the tank to wash that tank out completely. So there's no latent smells or debris in the tank. And also very importantly, those sprayers are aimed at the probes in the tank. So they'll keep them clean um, because uh, for years people have complained about not being able to get an accurate reading out of their black tank because there's something stuck to the probe that just never gets released from it. So black tank uh, flush aimed at those probes, spray it down, keep accurate readings going on your tanks. This um, fifth wheel has a 50 gallon fresh water capacity, so lots of storage capacity for your water for extending your camping trips as well. We also have the coach set up for 50 amp service. So what's important about 50 amp service? Um, in our climate, we don't have a whole lot of uh, call to be into uh, two air conditioning systems. This has a 50,000 BTU uh, air conditioner on, so lots of air for a smaller coach. But if you're camping in the desert, you might find that you really need that second air conditioner. And then you'll need 50 amp service to be able to support having those two air conditioners running. So we've already pre-wired this coach for a 50 amp service. If it was something, and it's set up in the bedroom to have a second air conditioner installed. So something that you want, it makes it much more affordable and much more easy, quick to be able to do that as well. You see they've uh, went to an LED tail light, okay? And a, a gray fiberglass exterior, which is very nice. Uh, the paint is infused into the fiberglass. It's a nice uh, shiny gel coat, um, which makes it stronger and again, a little bit better insulation in this as well. If you look way up, there's a huge awning on this back lip with blue LED lighting. Your speakers are also have LED lighting. And I really like that they moved the outside shower over to this side of the trailer, which tends to be an area where you're doing your barbecue and you're cooking. As a matter of fact, this trailer is set up with a quick connect gas line just underneath here. So you can plug your external grill in, set up your cooking area out in this area of the trailer, have your outside shower that you can fill a basin to do some washing of dishes and hands, and then really conveniently, if you're getting a little bit thirsty while you're doing that grilling, there's a space here, and this holds an, a lot of uh, refreshments. I think it can hold about a good solid 48 cans of pop, right? We'll come around here. Part of the Forest River family, they use some amazing components. Uh, the corporation is just so big, it's Forest River, Berkshire Hathaway. Suburban hot water heaters are something that you find standard in their higher end coaches. This hot water heater uh, is the highest output gas and electric functioning hot water heater. And when you're running both those settings on this, you'll get over 16 gallons of hot water per hour. So you're really going to have a supply of hot water available to you whenever you need it as well. One of the features that you're going to find in the brand in the brand new Arctic Wolf product is you're going to find that uh, Murai drop down steps, but because this is last year's model, we have the uh, fold out steps. Still a great step system though. Come on in, let's see some of the features. So small coach, really spacious, um, big, a big slide, six foot, seven inch slide out heights to give you lots of space in this slide. It also allows for huge windows. You'll see they do the 40 inch dinette drawers. So huge amount of storage. As a matter of fact, I'd be shocked if somebody could fill all the storage areas in this trailer. If we come around here, I think Arctic Wolf calls it their super kitchen. We have a full seamless countertop, really nice, quality countertop where you don't have the T-molding or the bolnose style rubber insert, which 
it separates from the side of the counter, water, food gets in there, and over time it really does have a negative effect on your countertop and can warp and typically just destroy your countertop. So full seamless countertop, make it very food safe, keep all the stuff out of it. Allow us to undermount a dual stainless steel sink. They put beautiful kitchen hardware on here with your spray nozzle as well. And then the sink cover to allow for more counter space. And again, when they use the tempered glass stove cover, which is recessed, it will maximize your counter space too. So you want to set up, prep food or wash some dishes, fold this back down, put your tea towel out there, and you got a great area to do so. Articles come with eight cubic foot fridge, which is um, larger than um, a standard fridge in this category as well. So huge refrigerator, it's an RV fridge, it's gas and electric. We ensure that at range that RV that we don't use the residential style fridges, which will leave people without being able to use their fridge unless they're at a completely service site. So fully RV refrigerator. Um, they've changed a couple features, but we'll show you this. This is a great little area for storage. It's actually a massive area for storage. food, uh, bottles of things, I don't know, there's also the 17 inch oven, it's a perfect size if you want to put like a tray of cinnamon buns in there, it would be awesome, make the trailer small, great. Here we have what we call our uh, tri-fold sofa bed, so simply, and I'll just do a real quick demonstration on this for you too, these cushions come off. The bottom of the sofa pulls out and this flips down and it's set. Put your bedding on there, you're ready to go. Far superior to an air mattress style bladder sofa bed, which tend to be really cold and lose air. So if you do want your family spending a couple extra nights in the camper, this is a much better sleeping area for them. And it sets up and, and puts away so quickly as well. All right. Unit is also equipped with a full entertainment center. This Furion stereo system is equipped with Bluetooth. So you can pair your phone to this. Use your phone as your music storage device and uh, operate your volume and switch your songs while you're sitting out at the picnic table. Um, you have speakers on the inside of the coach and the outside of the coach with selection for both zones. So if you don't want people hearing music on the outside of the trailer, um, you can shut that zone off and just have music on the inside. Or if you want to go to bed early and some people want to stay up, you can do the opposite with that. There's a ton of LED lights in this coach. It's a really nice, bright trailer. We're in the shop without any lights on right now. And the, the trailer itself is, is lit up and it's really nice and bright in here as well. Really attractive trailer. I want to come up and show you some of the control center here because they've done some really nice things. So we have a, a fully digital thermostat which runs both your air conditioner and your furnace. All of your light switches are here so they're all consolidated into one convenient area. You have your, your hot water heater and your water pump with your um, message center to show you your tank levels, things like that, your power awning and your slide out controls here. And then one of the, uh, a really neat system here is within here, you can set your auto leveling system. But what I really love about it is if you forget about some things, you can click on this, for example, and go, hey, I forget how to level my trailer. We can click on this and we'll have full um, tutorial videos built right into your trailer. Your owner's manuals are also stored in here, so you're never gonna have to worry about uh, searching to find those owner's manuals if you lose them. So really cool system. We can get more into that in a later video. And then I'll just let Kyle peek into the bathroom here, which shows the full rounded garden shower for a nice large shower reinforced at the shower pan, full size sink and medicine cabinet, high performance, fantastic fan, um, in the bathroom and these fans are incredible. It's a 12 volt fan. It's extremely quiet. Most importantly, it will move 900 cubic feet of air per minute through this trailer and it can be, it'll be like 
your savior on a hot day while you're dry camping. You want to keep air moving through this trailer. Crack a window open down below, turn your fan on and let it run and it'll just run off your battery. So really great system as well. Show you into the bedroom quickly. So one of the ways that Arctic Wolf have been able to keep the hitch weight down is to, is to make the bedroom a bit more of a compact area. If you look on the one side of the trailer, we have full wardrobe and bathroom linen closet storage. I love how they do that where they separate it so you get storage for your bathroom when the store is closed, a full bank of drawers and another huge closet here. So tons of storage space in here. And then if you look here, the bed is set up, which is on an electric lift system. So you can crank the bed up. If you want to sit up and read in bed, there's a, a area set up for a TV here. If you wanted to put a TV in the bedroom and have a, a place to watch a movie, you have uh, really cool reading lights on this one as well that go blue or white. And then when it's time to stretch out, you'll just extend this bed all the way down and you're good to go. So I hope you guys found this video informative. Thank you so much for watching. If you're interested in seeing uh, the full lineup of Arctic Wolf, come down to Rangeland RV. Uh, we're just north of Calgary, Alberta, Canada, or visit us online at rangelandrv.com. If you want to see more videos, please hit subscribe, and there'll be lots more videos to come. Thanks so much for watching. Happy camping.